What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Uh, the end of a very cool weekend. Got to hang out, do a lot of stuff. Uh, I had five days off-ish. Um, I was on call for most of it, but no calls. So it was like having five days off. Um, I was able to get a bunch of stuff done today. Today was the real first day I had that I could sit down in here and actually work on something, which is pretty cool. I've got the, um, I've got the USAC build. <laughs> it's this close to being done, so that's cool. That'll check that off the list. Um, and I put in a good amount of work um, on the 32 Ford uh, for the Old Tom Rambler 69 appreciation build. And I gotta say, I really like the way it's coming out. Um, so, uh, let's see. Actually, before I show you that, let me show you some stuff that I got in the mail over the weekend. Uh, all of it from Iceman Collections. I, I usually put in, you know, once a month-ish, I put in a good size order of stuff. And I got some really cool stuff to show you. Uh, let's see, first thing is I ordered this really cool swamp cooler. So this is going to be for a future build that I already am planning in my head because I'm sick like that. Uh, let me dig it out of the bag so I can show you guys. Maybe. I don't get outsmarted by this little plastic bag. There we go. So this is really cool. Uh, little swamp cooler. So those of you that know, you know. Those of you that don't, this is an air conditioning unit uh, that would mount in the window, the passenger side front or rear window of something. Um... And that's how you would provide air conditioning in the old cars. Uh, so this is for a build that I am planning that's coming up after the first of the year. And I'm getting outsmarted by this bag. This is ridiculous. Get in there. I couldn't get it out. Now I can't get it in. Jeez Louise. Anyway. Um... I got this 235 Chevy straight six engine. This is really cool. Uh, this comes with dual carbs, um, all the fend aluminum stuff. Uh, come here. Come here. So some, I've been handling this bag. So some of the stuff is broken off of this little tree thing. Like the, looks like the distributor cap. The coil, the air cleaner, that stuff is loose in the bag. Um, so, but, there's the rest of it. You can see it's really, really crisp and really clean. If I could hold it in view of the camera, I'd be doing better for you guys. Uh, really cool. A little engine, a little straight six engine. Um... I really like this stuff, the way he leaves it on the tree. Um, now, I found a trick. So you soak this stuff in, like, hot soapy water. You want to wash it anyway, right, before you before you start priming it. So you let it soak for just a few minutes in nice, hot, soapy water, and this stuff just peels right off of this little stand. Check it in on the car. She's getting some signatures. Yeah, <laughs> I just clicked play on my computer. That's funny. Um, okay, so we got that. Uh, then I got this Ford supercharged flathead with the Arden style heads. Again, a really cool print. I'll show you that. Again, this is for a future build that I'm already planning in my head. 
So what I'll do is I'll I'll buy these engines, <clears throat> and then I'll put them in the kits that I think they're going to go with until I decide that they're not going to go with that kit anymore. They're going to go with a different kit, and then I'll take them out, and I'll move them around. Yeah, something's wrong with me. Anyway, so that's that's that. Very, very nice. I just love the way this stuff looks. So, looking really good. And then, the third motor that I got. Take a guess what this is for, guys. Yep, a future build that I'm already thinking of. 572 supercharged. Um, this, also very cool. Um, get this out of the... Get this out of the thing. There we go. So. They have that print right there. Again, really cool. This is this is very cool. It's got the belt built into the pulley system. It's got the individual coil packs separately. Um, the supercharger, headers, a little cone air filter that sticks off the front. Really nice. Really nice stuff. So thank you, Joel, at Iceman Collections. I really appreciate you getting this stuff out to me super fast, as always. Um, and uh, putting together my list for the next order that I want. <laughs> All right, so that's that. So that's what I got in the mail, which is really cool stuff. Now, the 32. Uh, let's show you some of that stuff. So this is, this is how the engine's looking. Again, um, I realize with my selfie camera on the phone, it's hard for you get, for it to focus, but you get the gist of it. If I hold it back here, you guys watching me on your big screen TVs can probably see that pretty good. Uh, this is how she's looking. So what I've got to do is my plug wires. I have to mount the engine um, in the chassis first because the exhaust goes on after. So, and I have to wire it after the headers go on. So this will go in the chassis, um, headers will go on, and then I'll wire, I'll put the wires where they go. So, so that's looking good there. Um, I've pretty much made up my mind that I went with the Stacy David style interior, and that's how that looks. Um, I decided to paint this stuff is usually in the Stacy David car. The silver is body color. Well, I thought I would go with flat aluminum on that just to give it some contrast to contrast the maroon interior. And then this is just to me a panel line in here to give those that diamond tuck a little bit of a little bit of definition. So uh, there's the back panel piece. <laughs> And here are the seats. Here are the seats. So, I really like the way these are coming out. This looks really good. Um, notice that the engine has automatic transmission attached to it. So, um, this is what we're going with for a shifter. With like a B&M style quick stick I think they called it or something like that kind of a drag racing style automatic shifter so we're going with that and then the body is wet sanded um, and I decided to do something that I originally wasn't going to do I said the heck with it I saw a picture online um, and I said I I really like that so I'm going to do it so we stuck the flames on it um, like I said that's wet sanded out to 12,000 um, one, one coat of uh, clear and the decals over the one coat of clear and then what I'll do is I'll finish my clear um, finish clear coating it and then I'll wet sand from there but I saw a picture of a 32 um, online with a Duval style windshield that was red and it had it had a full hood and full sides for the hood but it had orange and yellow flames and I thought it looked really good so I thought you know why not that'll look pretty nice um, so we went ahead and 
did the flames. I said I wasn't going to do the flames, but I, you know what? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. So there we go. Uh, so there you have it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to continue plugging away on that this week. Um, and once I get, I think once I get the USAC build done, I'm going to drag the Mustang back out and I'm going to start working on that again too. Um, I'd like to finish that up as well. I'm on a roll, I think. So I think that's it for the weekend. Um, like I said, I hope everybody had a great one. Um, we certainly did. Uh, as always, let's see. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. You guys are amazing. I love the comments. Always helpful advice, and you know I love the I I just love the personal connection of the comments. You guys are you guys rock. So uh, keep that coming, please. Go check out Market Hobby Now Models. Um, as always, he's having his holiday sale. It's going on right now, so go check him out. Uh, the website is linked in the description of the video. If you click on that link, it will bring you right to his website, and you can start shopping right from there. So um, go check out what he's got. Very cool stuff. And I think that's it for now. Um, so I'll talk to you during the week. Uh, hopefully I can get some more progress done on something. Um, and I'll be able to come up with something else that I can talk to you guys about. I'm sure I'll find something. Thanks. Oh, excuse the sniffles. At that time of year. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.